Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for future content. Here we have a brilliant and heartwarming story which everyone needs to see. It regards Tilly Lockie and her Twitter handle is at Give Tilly a Hand. She's a 13 year old girl here in the United Kingdom and she whether when she was only, I believe it was 15 months old, she had, yeah, 15 months old, she fought against a septicemia disease, which is an acute infection of the bloodstream, which it was a sudden onset as well, and she actually lost both hands. So she had to have both her hands amputated at age 15, uh, sorry, 15 months, but she survived just when she's in it, but obviously, unfortunately, she lost both her hands. And she became an advocate for kids with prosthetics. So, thanks to James Cameron and Alita Battle Angel and the people at Open Bionics, she is now the real life Alita. She has been given a set of bionic hands, and as you can see from this photo here, she just looks incredible with them on. And it's just so good to see that she's so happy and that she has these and now she can be an even better advocate for this kind of awareness. So she was invited to a, a secret photo shoot at the Dorchester Hotel in London however Tilly thought it was just going to be a regular photo shoot and until that was when the film crew came in from next door and presented her with the brand new arms telling her she was a real life Alita. And we have some more photos here of what she was. She was actually at the world premiere of Alita, which again is brilliant. And she's there with it. And obviously James Cameron is here. So, just let me see. According to Yahoo, Tilly's new bionic hands were created thanks to 20th Century Fox partnering with Open Bionics. As you can see, her hands are bionic in every sense of the word. Not only do they move, but they allow Tilly to grasp objects and move them around. Alita Battle Angel producer James Cameron is a fan of her work. He spoke at length about her work saying that she has grown up to be an incredible person and has never let her disability hold her back in any way, which is absolutely fantastic. It's just so good to see that the world, that there is good in this world, obviously, with all of this. And Sammy Payne is the person who is the head of Open Bionics. So obviously they've partnered with 20th Century Fox. She became part of the London premiere for Alita Battle Angel as she and film star Rosa Salza walked the red carpet together. So oh, it's just absolutely fantastic, isn't it? I, it's just so good. And they've actually started to do a petition now as well to try and get Tilly in the sequel to Alita, which I think that'd be fantastic. And say, so if you haven't seen Alita Battle Angel, go and see it. It's absolutely... It's just fan-fucking-tastic, you know? But uh, Tilly, she also took to, us her, took to her own Twitter and thanked Sammy Payne, co-founder of Open Bionics, and the team for all they've done for her and the work they do for everyone who are in need of prosthetics. So she put down a massive shout-out to the amazing site to Sam, sorry, so at Soy Sam, and all Open Bionics for creating the Elite Battle Angel Arms. You are also talented and you are changing the lives for the better. And it's, it's just absolutely fantastic. I just think, you know, it's, when you see about people going around and say, oh, you know, Captain Marvel, all she's all she's trying to promote is race and gender and trying to do a GoFundMe so people can go and see her film. That's all. And obviously the GoFundMe pages, oh, it's, you know, it's a Captain Marvel challenge. Well, it's not really a, cha you know, a challenge. These girls need help. Clothing, if it's if it's clothing, if it's food, if it's school supplies, if it's well education, anything like that. But no, they just have to say, "Oh, we're going to try and get all these people to see our movie because they deserve to see it." Well, not really, because that's just going to push your agenda to try and make sure that you get better. Well better opening box office and better money for you as Brie Larson has actually got a 1% in the box office uh, claim to Captain Marvel already. She hadn't even done a film yet and she's already claiming money on it. So, and obviously here you see with Alita Battle Angel, all they're doing, 
you know, instead of, instead of doing GoFundMe pages so people can see the film, they're actually out there helping people who need limbs. You know, they're giving bionic arms. They're giving you know, it's they're giving prosthetics to people. It's brilliant. And Elite Battle Angel, if you haven't seen it, go and see it. It is such a good movie. So I say, if going to finish up by there. If you are new here, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.